been a while. Boys and girls. How does this thing go again? I can't even remember how I'm supposed to do this. I used to be so good. So good. <sighs> Maybe I was the world's former premier gaming blogger. Vlogger. Extraordinaire. Maker of entertaining video. User of clever edits. Nothing clever about the editing really. Nope. Still the same that. So what the fuck is up with you? Huh? How have you been? It's been too long. Far too long. Old franchise, back in the saddle. Vlogging. It used to be easier than this. I seem to remember it being easier than this. I think it's only fair that seeing as all it's been quite some time that I've sort of explained myself because there's at least at least three people, like not including me mum, who've been waiting for this return, the return of the King of the North, again, for quite some time. And I've been sort of promising, yeah, the video's coming, the video's coming, I'm working on it, I'm, I'm working on it. It wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't working on it, I, I apologise. I meant I had every intention of working on it. And I could sort of see what I wanted to do in my head. But, uh, didn't... Didn't pan out like that. Unfortunately not. <coughs> so what's changed? What has changed, other than the brand of electronic cigarette? Just got a new one. The funny story, just to kick this off, I've been using these new electronic cigarettes because it's the cleanest hit of nicotine you can get on the market today. It's, uh, I can, I'll, I'll try it, I'll try it. I've been using it for a while. My sister saw it. I'll have one of them. So had a word with my mum. Mama franchise. Will you guess one of them electronic cigarettes that our franchise uses? She's like, yeah, no bother. So my mum rings me. Oh, I need you. Uh, where do you get that that thing that you smoke? And I'm like, what? And she's like, oh, you know, the crack pipe. <laughs> crack pipe? I got mum on crack. Apparently, no, that's what changed. A crippling addiction to crack. <laughs> Gotta get my crack. Gotta get some more crack. Mm, 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 mm. No, seriously, it's like, uh, it's been far too long. So, what, where have I been? So, if, you, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, if you're one of the, uh, one of the originals, one of the, one of the familiar, one of the fan base, spelled with a PH, I just made that one up. Still got it, never left us. If you knew I bought my own house, this is it. If you look back at the other vlogs, I was in a different room altogether, so this is this is the new office. The new You can't really spell office with a PH. You could in the middle, I suppose. Nah but a lot of change. A lot of change in my life. New house, new job, new everything. So uh, this sort of got put on the back burner a bit, the old career. The old non-paying job. Hmm. No better job than one that doesn't pay. Actually costs me more to do this than I earn from it. But I have earned like one pound twenty eight in the past two months. Who's laughing now, hmm? One pound twenty eight. So I got my own house. That's uh that's been an eye opener. After twenty eight year of just living with my parents and just relying on them. Old franchise, spread spread his wings, left the nest. It's been terrifying, it's been a terrifying experience. I don't think I was rightly prepared for, for what happened after leaving my parents' house. In fact, let's do this. Let's let's do this life lessons with franchise. Life lessons with French Life lesson number one. Nobody, nobody has physically prepared you if you haven't moved out. Or if you have moved out, you know what I'm about to say. Nobody's prepared you for washing up. Washing the fucking dishes. 
I don't have a dishwasher in this house. I don't have a kitchen big enough to support a dishwasher in this house. Like a machine that washes the dishes for you, which I totally took for granted. Now, like, these hands, these hands have seen their fair share of dishes now. And I don't even, like, my days now, my days, I don't, I don't operate on time anymore. I don't operate on, oh, is it time to watch fucking Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or is it time to watch What and Dead or is it time to play the Xbox? It's, it's basically, have I done the dishes yet? Yes, you may do something else. No, do the fucking dishes. And that's the thing as well, it's never ending. There's, there's no end in sight. Because every time you eat or drink, you create dishes to wash. I did think maybe I just get loads of paper plates and plastic knives and forks, and then after I've ate, chuck them in the bin. But have you ever tried cooking in a pan made out of cardboard? It's a fucking fire hazard. It's an accident waiting to happen. And I've only just figured out how to work the fucking smoke. Number two, life lesson number two, bin day. Fucking bin day. For the first month and a half that I lived here, I got the bin day right once in a month and a half and that was because somebody told us put your bins out my good friend my lifelong friend LPH Twitter just just a reminder mate it's, it's the green bin and the blue bin tomorrow I was in bed when I got that <laughs> I'd been washing dishes all night I was exhausted so I was in bed tweet ah In that first month and a half, I'd managed to put the wrong bins out, I'd managed to put no bins out, and I'd managed to put the bins out on the wrong day. <laughs> like, people were getting up in me straight going to work to say, that new guy who lives there, he's, it's, it's Thursday and he's got his bins out. Should we tell him? Nah, fuck it, he'll learn. It came, it came down to not putting the bins out on the night, setting an alarm in the morning to remind us bins, then in the morning, stealth out under the cover of darkness and just quickly look to see what other people had put out and I'm like, oh, brown bin, fuck this is the blue one. Life lesson number three, fucking home security. I didn't use a panic before, like a bomb could have gone off in the back garden before and that was fine because I, I don't think it was my house, it was my parents house and I always felt safe because it was my parents house. I don't know why. That and Ewok dog, she was always there. Like the slightest noise, Ewok dog was just like, <laughs> something's here, something's here, something's gotta be in the neck. It's about three miles, it's within three miles. But now it's like I'm lying in bed and the slightest noise, I'm just like, <sighs> somebody's breaking and somebody's stealing all my stuff. Somebody, are they trying to steal me? Am I that? Like, now it's ridiculous. Like, now I can't even, like, if I hear a cat, having like a tricky shit four doors down that's me done for the night, no sleep I'm at the windows, peering out my Venetian blinds I know you're out there so I got a new job as well I moved jobs I moved within the same company I moved from one area where I was I'd like to say highly skilled and damn fine at my job moved into another area where I have no skill <laughs> no skill not good not good I'm like a new starter all over again and I don't like it I'm uncomfortable with that and on top of that, everybody in the old area sort of knew us, sort of knew the personality that you see now. This, this what you see, this is stuck, I'm stuck with this. This comes with me everywhere. I've just, you know that switch that people have got that you turn off and you're like, I've got to be professional. Turn it off. Just get business, pure business, get down to business. I'm missing that. I did all right for the first couple of weeks. Kept my head down, didn't really talk to anyone. But that started to get weird. Started to get what? I didn't want to be the weird guy. I didn't mind being the new guy, but I didn't want to be the weird guy who doesn't talk to anybody. He just comes in, sits down, doesn't make a cup of tea, sits down on his keyboard, doesn't do anything, just sitting staring at a blank monitor, just like professional. I am a consummate professional. Hmm. I even stopped wearing my hoodie. I used to wear a black hoodie to work. Just no branding, you know, just a plain black hoodie. Wanted to be, thought maybe I'd get a reputation for being the guy in the black hood. Like some sort of cool rep. Couldn't do it. I was like, I, I don't know any of these people. What if they're going to be like, who's that retard in the black hood? You know what I mean? Nobody needs that. This is the sort of pressure that... 
And on top of that, nobody who I work with now in the new department, nobody knew of this, nobody knew of the franchise, nobody knew of my video empire. Of course, that didn't last long. No, sir. Somebody who watches the videos who I work with, uh, let it slip. Let it slip. But nobody said anything. Nobody. People knew. People had an inkling that this new weird guy who doesn't talk to anybody or drink tea like a normal person or do work, <laughs> what he's paid to do. Nobody said anything. They all knew it. Until people start getting a bit more comfortable around us and, and a, a lovely woman who works there, she was just like, do you make films? Films? Do I make films? Not for, uh, not for your eyes, I don't. They're all for me. So it's out. And then another lad who I work with, he went trawling me Facebook looking for evidence and he found it. And then it's out there now. It's out there that I'm some sort of video making nerd. Yeah. Couldn't keep the facade up for long. Never mind. Never mind. Suppose I can add another three people to the old uh, count. You better be watching. You. And then uh, with the new job came the question of like, I've gone corporate now. You know what I mean? I'm business now. I need to grow up. I need to grow up. I need to be the 30 year old young professional. As opposed to the 30 year old, well, 29, nearly 30, 29. I need to be that guy who's like normal. Is that is that the word? Normal. Stop videoing myself, editing myself, ruthlessly hating myself. But uh, no. I mean, I didn't want to grow up, because like two things terrify me about growing up, or growing up. One. At what age, after you grow up, I think you lose two main abilities. You lose the ability to have like a quiet shit. Just to go into the trap, shut the door, do your business. Nobody knows what you're doing in there. You could be in there doing origami for all people know with toilet roll. Just as a little break, just to get away. Just like, ah, oh, the stresses and strains of work. I made a swap. I don't want to lose that ability. Because that terrifies us. I mean, I, I go into a trap now at work because I, I, can't, I can't piss next to another man at a urinal. If I walk in and there's people at the urinal, game over. Stage fright, big time. 29, and I still can't piss next to another man. I've, I've tried, I've committed, I've gone up, zipped, out, <sighs> eye on the prize, staring at the tiles. Just, come on, man, come on, you can do it. Just piss, come on. You're a big boy now, you can piss. You're not pissing. Not a drop. Not a drop. They noticed, yep, these people, they noticed, they noticed you're standing there with your penis out, not actually doing anything. You look weird, you need to put it away, put it away and run. That terrifies us, the whole inability to have a quiet shit. And, and like, you lose the ability to piss in a, in a constant stream as well. Like, I've, I'm alright if I go to a, <laughs> where's this video gone, by the way, this is gone, fuck, I know uh, I'm kind of gassy there, you got your peripheral, peripheral vision, and it's just like, just jets, just, just people pissing jets, wait, like, oh god, how am I supposed to keep my eye on the prize, when I'm worried, that I'm, in the peripheral I'm saying my future, just pissing in jets, like fireworks, you rhyme fireworks, I think I've, I think I've gone too far. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Probably not going to be the last. But I think we're going to wrap it up there. We're just wrapping up with the future. So I'd like to think, like I'm back now. By the schedule of washing the dishes and just in toiling over the fucking bin day will allow us to to vlog as much as I want when I've got like other shit going on. Like I've I've got back into reviewing. I've done a couple of reviews of late. And like a couple of let's plays, me and nice guy Johnny did like WWE 2K14 let's plays, and we've got like plans. I want to get more into the let's play market, but like I know there's a there's a small small demographic out there who quite enjoy these, so I don't want to let you down. I quite enjoy doing these as well. Just, I'm just airing out me dirty skeletons out my closet made of dirty skeletons. Basically. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and keep going with the vlogs, doing this basically because I've rambled on far too long already for the return. If I if I'd never left, 
this would have been a couple of short five to seven minute ones I think but I've managed to cram it all in but like the next gen that's that's I'm gonna vlog more about the next gen I think because that's coming next Friday I've already got my holidays and I work I've already been judged for putting holidays in to play a new Xbox <laughs> like by these normal people these people who are like cool and that the judges because I'm gonna put a holiday in for an Xbox. I'm, I'm 29 and I'm going to the midnight launch for fuck's sake. But you know what I mean? You love what you love. And I love Xbox. Just gaming. And like pizza, but I'm not going to put a holiday in for pizza. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope I haven't bored the tits off here. I hope you've been entertained. Um, feels good. Feels good to be back. So. Hopefully, hopefully you have to keep on at us. You've got me Twitter tag, the franchise at the franchise, all one word. Just hassle us. Just tell us if you want more of this shit. Tell us, and let's let's take this. Let's take the franchise to the next gen. Next gen front. I might get like a face tattoo or something. Next gen face tattoo. Seems a bit. Uh, in hindsight, that seems a bit bit much. Really, I don't care for pain or facial tattoos. So, lose, lose. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. And uh, until next time. If there is a next time. Laters.